All right, so I'm going to talk to you guys about a, um, or energy security, or some aspects of it, uh, through playing a game. Um, I found that this could be a good way to introduce, or to teach you guys some of the effects of energy security and some of the problems that arise from it. So, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so, um, as you can see, this is the Alberta tar sands. And so the Alberta tar sands are produce copious amounts of oil and fossil fuels. Um, it's the second largest producer of uh, oil in the world, uh, next to Saudi Arabia. And, um, and it's a very prosperous location for getting out uh, energy resources, like coal, for example, which that which all this stuff here is. So what happens is um, they dig up these fossil fuels slash oil sands um, in order to extract the energy resources that are from them. In this case it's coal, like I said. So they keep digging this up, just keep gorging themselves on this uh, resource and eventually what will happen is the resources will get depleted uh, like you can see here so when that happens uh, what they have to do is expand out in the oil sands but that sometimes means that they have to expand into land like uh, Aboriginal sacred land which is over there uh, over here and uh, So over here is Aboriginal sacred land, and as you can see, there's uh, some tar or there's some fossil fuels that you can see on that Aboriginal sacred land. But what the oil companies do is they decide to push the Aboriginal sacred land back and uh, kind of destroy it in order to get at the resources. So for the purpose of this game, uh, I would just clear this stuff up. Let's light this. There we go. And light that. And then we can clear these trees out of the way so we can get out those resources. But unfortunately, when doing this, that kills animals and destroys their habitats. But so there are negative effects that come at that. And also, the negative effect being that um, Aboriginal sacred land is being destroyed and they're being pushed back. Although, Aboriginals do benefit from the oil sands because it provides them with mass amounts of jobs. So there is a plus side to the oil sands being close to Aboriginal, Aboriginal land. Um, but as you can see, I wouldn't say that that's really good for the environment, what's happening right now with clearing and making room for digging and finding more resources. So as you can probably tell, the Aboriginals, Aboriginals aren't too happy about that. So now we're going to dig up all these resources here, and uh, then we can harvest them on our fossil fuels, so we can use them uh, or sell them as a country or as a province. And all that clearing was just to get out a few resources, so uh, you can see where the problem arises. Hey, cow, that ain't for you. Get out of there. Alright, um... So, yeah, and now, as you can see, uh, instead of practicing stewardship, like we, uh, should be, we're taking, we're using up and digging up all the resources as we can, uh, when, in fact, what sh we should be doing is saving some for future generations, uh, which is just sustainable prosperity. Um, but unfortunately that's not quite happening as well as some people would like. Uh, so that's one negative effect from the oil sands and one problem that arises from it. Get out of there, cow. That just looks wrong. I'm going to show you some aspects of energy security now um, that I have not mentioned yet. Uh, so, welcome to Pearson Stand right there, which is, let's say, our country that 
we belong to now. And uh, so we make everything uh, with these furnaces here. And we need coal or fossil fuels or energy resources uh, to fuel it. And that's our only supply right there. And uh, But this isn't an infinite supply. This eventually runs out. So since we don't have very much energy resource remaining, when we dig it up, when we dig it up, um, we have none left. And so we have to deal with the amount that we have now. So we have 45 pieces of our energy resource that we can put into these furnaces here to make uh, numerous things, such as we can cook our food, we can we can make bricks for building houses by firing clay we can make iron bars which can be used to make tools weapons for military and let's say uh, armor for military as well so now we got some of these and we can use it to build stuff like a pickaxe here we can build it with and that's basically what our country does with its energy resources is does that but since we now have no more energy resources like since we have no more coal we can't make any of those make any more of that stuff than what we have going right now so what do we do well we have to rely on other countries in order to get our energy resource so let's say Canada to Pearson Stan trade rail so remember those tar sands well they well we can rely on Canada to export some of its energy resources from let's say the tar sands to Pearson Stan so that now we uh, we can trade with them in order to get those resources off them. It's kind of like what the United States does with um, uh, some countries like Canada. We give the United States uh, some of our energy resources like oil and uh, coal like that. Uh, so that's kind of what's happening here. So when this stuff is done, we'll get some energy resources from Canada. All right, so now you can tell that we have no more energy resources to fuel fuel our um, our furnaces and to make items. So now we are out of uh, energy resources, coal, and now we're going to need some more from Canada. So back in the tar sands, we now have a bunch of coal that we have extracted from the tar tar sands, or or fossil fuels, as you might say. And um, so now we can send it to Pearson Stan, uh, so Pearson Stan can get some resources. So all we have to do is just put this on there, and we can send off this cart. That will go to Pearson Stan. Back in Pearson Stan, uh, we are now just waiting for a shipment of coal or fossil fuels so we can uh, make more of our stuff and this is demonstrating the reliance that some countries have on others for getting their energy resources all right here is our coal and uh, now we can get it from our cart and now what we do is we send it back with some gold slash money and so now we send back the um, train uh, to Canada so they can receive the payment for the ener energy resources that they gave us which is in gold and goodbye so now that we have our resources, we can put it into the furnaces again, this one, and we can continue make producing uh, things like uh, tools, weapons, food, uh, building supplies, and that kind of stuff. 
All right, so we are now relying on another country for our energy resources and fossil fuels, as you can see here, as it's making our items. Um, and there are a couple problems that arise from this. Um, one of which is that it increases uh, the need for more fossil fuels to be dug up and produced to in order for us to have it. So this goes against uh, stewardship uh, as more needs to be dug up and as you know from previously that digging up more fossil fuels isn't very good uh, especially when it's in mass amounts because that's not practicing stewardship and the second uh, problem that arises from it is that it uh, create it can create some political uh, tensions between political powers and countries uh, when one uh, country supplies like Pearson Stan with resources and energy resources. Now, in order to solve the reliance and uh, the continued use of fossil fuels, um, the one solution that is connected to both of those is to find alternate sources of energy. There are other um, sources of energy in this game that we can use to fuel our furnaces, one of which is, if we go outside here, one of which is wood, which we can get from this tree. So wood is, let's say, our one of our alternate sources of energy that we can use. This is just an example that's in this game. So we found one that we can use as an alternate source. Uh, in real life, uh, one of the alternate sources of energy is lithium, and that's in Bolivia. Uh, and but Bolivia, Bolivia is kind of reluctant to hand it over to the United States uh, because they are a poor country and they don't have very much in terms of money. Uh, so now we can use wood as our uh, energy resource to get bricks to build our to build stuff. So now another resource if we dig over here let's just say this is our another alternate energy source which is lava now we can collect some and also use that in our furnaces to fuel stuff now if our country find our if our country starts to search for these alternate energy sources then we reduce our reliance on other countries to supply us with fossil fuels which is good because then that eliminates some of the problems that come from relying on other countries so now we can get rid of all this coal and we can put some lava in there to fuel our furnaces and make our items. So this is uh, this is pretty much what happens uh, with some poorer countries of ours, and also using alternate sources of energy. Uh, what it does is it also create stewardship if you don't dig up all these fossil fuels in order for us to uh, for Pearson stand to be supplied with fossil fuels it reduces that need to dig them all up and it saves some fossil fuels for future generations which increases uh, sustainable prosperity anyways I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video presentation it's not the best but I hope it was a bit insightful and taught you a few things about energy security. So until next time, guys.